Hi everyone! Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll be doing a few crafts today. I hope you enjoy them. You can use them especially this time of the year for Halloween or for your everyday home decor like I do. So, here we go guys! <laughs> to check me out on Etsy. The link to my shop is in the description of every video. Hi guys! I hope you had a fabulous week and you're in the mood for uh, some spooky projects. I've got three that I'm doing today. Now these are metal hands and yes I'm using real bugs. Um, you don't have to use real. You can get um, some fake ones this time of the year pretty easy at um, Michael's, Joann's, places like that. Or you can order them online, but I prefer the real. So that's what I went for. I ordered mine on Etsy. There's lots of them to choose from. Now, these I got at Hobby Lobby. The bases are purchased separately from the glass domes. So, just make sure you get the proper sizes. I was not feeling the orangey-brown color of the wood bases. So, I broke out my black spray paint and nip that in the butt real quick now if the paint gets damaged during your project you can always do a touch up after you're finished but these metal hands are also from hobby lobby that is a drawer pull and i'm pretty sure it's probably around five or six dollars and the other piece i'm not exactly sure what they're advertising it as but you can find it in the same aisle as the drawer pull. And I think it's around $8. I use this semi-gloss black paint. And um, left it dry all day long. I took a little bit of sandpaper and roughed up the wood a little bit so it would adhere a little bit better. But I like this stuff just for the plain fact that you get really good coverage. Now, with these hands, you're going to have to make sure um, they do fit under the glass cloches. But you have to make sure, um, you know, before you actually screw them in, that it's not hitting the sides. So, make sure first, mark the holes, drill the holes. You can put a dab of um, hot glue there if you want to for extra assurance, but it's really not necessary. And when you get the screws, just make sure you get ones that'll go through the um, wood base. Uh, you know, they're not too long because you don't, you don't want it to go all the way through to the other side, which I've done that before. And I've had to take the Dremel tool and cut the back of it off. So learn from my mistakes so you don't have to do the same thing. 
but yeah. Well, it's attached now. Like I said, um, you don't have to use real bugs if you don't want to. You don't even have to put bugs in if you don't want to. You could hang a necklace, anything like that from the hand. Make it like a display for like your favorite necklace or like a, an award ribbon, something like that you could put in there. So there's lots of options. Now, that uh, rubber piece that I have on this drawer pull is just to cover the screw so you don't see it. You could use anything like uh, some crepe paper, lace, anything like that around the hand. Now, the rubber stopper, I actually um, got it. I think I ordered them from Amazon. They're like what you would see at the bottom of like a stool so it's kind of hollow in the center but i did that to camouflage the screw so you wouldn't see it i drilled the hole at an angle because of the way i want the hand positioned i don't want it flat like that i wanted it kind of uh more upward an upward position so you do you though if you like it in that flat position then by all means go ahead and do it i just wanted it kind of tilted upwards a little bit i just took a brush and dusted off some of that um, sawdust now i'm un unpackaging the bugs and it's so easy to damage them while you're unpackaging them Basically, all I'm doing is using a little dab of hot glue, taking some tweezers, and putting the bug where I want it to sit. Now, that's another thing you're going to have to make sure. When the wings are spread like that, you're going to have to make sure that it doesn't hit the glass. So, double check before you place it on there and make sure that's not going to happen. I've got some more bugs on the way, butterflies and bees, that I wanted to use in this video, but unfortunately they didn't get here in time. Um, another option too, which I contemplated using brass stampings in place, they're like brass bugs, and I thought they would be really pretty on the hands too. This next project is sort of silly, but, you know, that's me. <laughs> I seen this self-portrait of him and thought it was perfect for a spider, especially because of Halloween. So I ordered it off of Etsy and I got it on a stretched canvas. I took one of the bugs that I ordered. It's called an orb weaver and a dab of glue and spread the legs out and i thought it was perfect because it looks like he's scared of the spider simple but effective <laughs>
Project number three, we're going for some feetsies again. This time I got chicken feet. And for around 12 to 15 dollars, you can order them already spread like this. Again, an Etsy purchase. And that candle holder that I have there is made of wood. It kind of had like a washed white color to it and I wanted it black so again with the spray paint uh, I think it was around $13 at Hobby Lobby for that chunky candle holder base and just sanded it spray painted it uh, these chicken feet you might have to take some cutters like wire cutters and trim them even a little bit but this is a perfectly spooky candle holder for sure now I just have a small drill bit and I'm putting um, a hole in each one of them going down as far as the drill bit will allow me to go and I'm making two holes on the back of that wood base. And you don't want them perfectly centered. You want to kind of towards the back a little bit more. So a little bit further back from center because of the way the feet are. And these metal pieces I have are just wire, like a thicker wire. And I'm just going to take a little bit of hot glue, put it on the wire, shove it down in as far as it'll go in the leg, do that on both legs, and then that other end, you'll have to probably trim down a little bit too, but that other end is going to be hot glued into the base so that you have a sturdier joint there. Now, the only thing bad about these feet is because they are real, um, they don't exactly cooperate sometimes when you're trying to get something perfectly straight. Because initially, once I put these on there, it was kind of tilted a little bit. It wasn't a flat surface. So I had to do a little toenail trimming just to get them to sit properly so that it would be flat surface. So you may have to do the same thing. I'd about guarantee it. But it's definitely an interesting piece for sure and very cool for a Halloween display. Once you get in them into the position that you need them to be in, then just flip it over and add some extra hot glue around where the base and the feet meet. I decided to order some of my bags. I don't know if you know, I've told you in the past, but I've got a lot of new subscribers. I do have a second shop called A Haunted Heart, which I do all of my like artwork. I put them on bags, coffee cups, stickers, t-shirts, things like that. So I ordered some bags because of the season it being, I ordered all of Halloween. So I got them in the mail today and I'm going to share them with you. This one is a haunted house. It doesn't have a pocket on the inside, but it's nice 
sturdy material and it's an all over print design. The other one. This one I modeled after the old Halloween die cuts. And I really am pleased with them. I think they turned out really, really good. And this one. <clears throat> which is a more neutral design. This is modeled after an antique postcard. I just thought she was really neat. And I love the darker colors. If you could look at the bottom, you can see that she's flying over a town. But these are available in my Haunted Heart shop if you wanna go check them out. There's always a link in the description of every video to all my social pages and to my shops. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. I love talking to you guys and I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much.